Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at this 15 inch laptop from HP. So I bought this laptop from Best Buy for uh, $262.29 after tax. It was $243 as open box and $279 new, uh, and it is now $479, so I just wanna see if it's a good deal. Uh, so this is a 15.6 inch laptop, has an AMD Ryzen 3, 8 gigs of RAM and a 256 gig SSD. And if you're curious about the model number on this one, it is the 15EF2033DX. All right, being that this is a box, uh, it did come in another box, of course, uh, to protect this box. But as you can see, it just says inspected by Best Buy on here. Cool. Okay. Okay, we got our laptop on top. We have our charging cable on the side. All right, so our laptop comes in this little cardboard cover. Go ahead and pop this out. Still had its little sheet and bag, which is nice to see. We do have a two-piece charger uh, with a 45 watt adapter, and it does have the traditional HP barrel plug. And before we turn it on and check it out, just wanted to check the condition of the computer. So as you can see on the top, it is a silver plastic. We have a shiny HP logo. The only thing I noted here were just a couple of smudges, potentially scuffs, but I'll clean that off in just a minute just to see if that comes off. I don't see any damage on the back. Nothing on the back of the corners. Everything looks good for the most part from what I can see. And on the inside, keyboard and trackpad, everything looks good here. And then same thing on the screen, everything looks pretty good. And it looks like that was just residue. So that came off with a little bit of scrubbing, but as you can see, looks just like new. So as you saw, condition is pretty good. We'll go ahead and check out what ports we have on this. So on the left-hand side, we have our power plug. You do have an indicator light right next to that. We have uh, two super speed USB-A ports. On the opposite side, we do have an SD card reader and a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. We also have a USB-C that offers power as well as HDMI full size. And we have two indicator lights, one for our power and one for the hard disk. This laptop is made of plastic, so there's no metal bits on here. We do have a nice shiny HP logo. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see we have two long rubber feet as well as one long vent here. Taking a look at the inside, you can see we have a uh, fairly thin bezel going on the sides, a little bit thicker around the top and bottom. HP logo at the bottom. We do have a webcam and indicator light here. On our top case, you can see we have a long strip for our speakers. We have a separate power key. We have a full-size keyboard with 10 key. We also have a decently sized trackpad, as well as, of course, nice little stickers. Now, the other thing I'm not really a fan of, of course, is this silver scheme that they have for their keyboard. And uh, just to give you a quick typing test on the keyboard, it feels okay. It does definitely feel very cheap, but for the price that is to be expected. Trackpad actually feels not too bad. Pretty nice and clicky as well. Now the operating system this would come with is Windows 11 in S mode. However, because this was uh, open box from Best Buy, it looks like they did refresh it with the stock version of Windows 11 Home. However, if you do buy this and it is in S mode, you can take it out of S mode. You will have to sign in uh, with your Microsoft account, go to the uh, Microsoft store, and then you can get it out of S mode and use it like a traditional laptop. So uh, just to give you an idea of what may come on here. Now this one is stock Windows 11. So I've added a couple of apps, but for the most part, you're going to have just the Microsoft apps in here and you can delete any of those that you don't need. And if you're curious how much storage is available out of the box, um, I have downloaded two things, but it looks like we have about 200 gigs out of 237. So uh, 237 is how it's formatted down from 256. And just to give you the specifics on the specs, we do have the AMD Ryzen 3 5300U. That does include Radeon graphics. We have uh, four cores and eight threads. We do have eight gigs of RAM that is uh, DDR4 and it is uh, 3200 megahertz. For our SSD, we have uh, 256 gigs, as I mentioned. Uh, this is an SK Hynix BC711. For Wi Fi, we do have a Realtek RTL 8822CE 802.11ac, um, and that is a Wi Fi 5 adapter. And then for our GPU, we do have, again, AMD Radeon graphics. Now the display on this computer is 15.6 inches and the resolution is a bit on the low side at 1366 by 768. And here's a quick video test. And as you can see, again, head on, looks pretty decent, but as you change the viewing angle, it is not the greatest. And again, this is not a 
It's not at 1080p, but for basic viewing should be pretty decent. Now the speakers on this laptop are actually pretty decent. They get pretty loud. Uh, they are coming from the top case. So I think that does definitely help. I've seen some where they put them on the bottom and it just does not get very loud, but I'll go ahead and give you a quick sample now. We do have a webcam included at the top of the lid. You can see an indicator light right next to that. Now this is a 0.9 megapixel camera, uh, so it is not going to be great. Uh, so just to give you an idea of the quality here, you can see that it's kind of blowing me out from all the light around here. Um, but it does have that face tracking going on right now, so that's pretty cool. Um, so for basic use, definitely pretty decent, but uh, I would not record a YouTube video using this. All right, so we're gonna do a couple of quick benchmarks. So the first of which we'll do is uh, crystal disk mark. This is going to uh, measure the read and write speeds of the uh, SSD. All right, here are our results. We have 3,400 megabits per second read and 2016 uh, megabits write. So I think that's pretty good. Um, and I think the rest of the numbers look pretty good as well. So not too shabby for an inexpensive machine. And the next benchmark we're gonna do is Cinebench R23. This is going to test our CPU. All right, in our single core test, we have uh, 1,118 points. And in this little uh, section here showing the ranking, it shows it's just below an i9-9880H, which I, I don't know if I believe that, but that's pretty wild. So uh, that has 1183, this has 1118. And our multi-core score, we came out with 4722. And in the ranking here, it has it just below an 11th gen i7. So the i7-1165G7. Uh, which had a score of 4904, which honestly is not too bad if you think about it. So just under a 9th gen i9 for the single core and under an i7 11th gen. So not too shabby for a Ryzen 3. So definitely, definitely pretty decent. As for battery per HP site, it does say this is a 3 cell 41 watt hour battery that can offer mixed usage up to 10 hours and video playback of up to 9 hours and 45 minutes. Now, being that the display is a lower resolution uh, and this is probably pretty power efficient, I would say it probably will get that. I haven't tested that, but that is what HP says on there. All right, so there you guys have a quick look at this HP laptop. Now, I will say for the open box price I got it for, for $263, worth it. If you get it for $479, not worth it. I feel like you can get much better deals um, out there than that price. So if you find this on sale, it may be worth it. Now, of course, there are some cons with this. I think the display, that's... 1366 by 768, that is just not great. I would I would go for a 1080p screen if I had to. Um, I would go above this just to get a 1080p screen. Um, outside of that, performance is good. Uh, the keyboard and trackpad also feel pretty good. Um, and I think it has, you know, enough IO that could, you know, suffice for what you need. Um, but overall, I mean, it's a decent machine. It just depends on what price you get it for. If you get it for a low price, I think it's worth it. Um, but if you get it for at four seventy nine, five hundred dollars. Like it's just not, it's just not there. It's not worth it at that price. But anyway, guys, there you have it. A quick look at this. Any questions or comments? Feel free to leave them down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.